Well, I have, I have a, a concern really for the, all the major AI programs. Um, I mean, the two biggest ones obviously are uh, Google Gemini and um, OpenAI, which is in partnership with Microsoft. So you've got you know, kind of Google DeepMind on, um, and uh, OpenAI and Microsoft as the, the two um, largest players. And you've got Meta sort of somewhere in their place. Um, the, the concern I have, and this may seem like a small concern, but I think it's actually a very big, big issue, um, is that they are not maximally truth seeking. Um, they are, they are pandering to political correctness. Uh, but if you've got an AI that, that is so, that has been trained so hard for political correctness, um, uh, and really to, to make crazy statements like that, um, and, and OpenAI has, has a similar issue. It's more subtle, but it's a, a similar issue. Um, I think that's extremely dangerous because the AI could conclude, well, the best way to avoid misgendering would be to uh, destroy all humans. Then misgendering is impossible. Um, so uh, you can think of some dystopian outcomes there. Um, and so I, I think you just really want to be a, an absolutely max. I think the safest thing for AI be maximally truth seeking, even if the truth is unpopular, very important. Um, and, uh, and then I think another factor is it must be extremely curious. Uh, I think if it is truth seeking and curious, that will be most beneficial to humanity uh, because it will, be, it will want to see, I think it will want to foster humanity and see how humanity develops if it is curious and truth seeking. Um, that that is uh, like I said. These these may seem perhaps like small things, but I think they're actually very big things. Join us for an enlightening discussion with Elon Musk as he delves into the future of AI, highlighting both its potential and its perils. In this video, Musk voices his concerns about the leading AI programs like Google Gemini and OpenAI, particularly how their adherence to political correctness may lead to dangerous outcomes. They're, they're being trained basically in, in, to lie. And I think it's very dangerous to tra train super intelligence to be deceptive. Um, so with, with XAI, our goal is, you know, is, is really want to be as truth seeking as possible, even if it is unpopular. Um, that is important. I think extremely important. Well, well for example, uh, when, when Gemini was asked to render the, the founding fathers of the United States, um, it rendered them as a diverse group. It gave a picture of George Washington as black. Now, George Washington is not black. Um, it was asked to render a... Uh, now, people obviously played with this because they said, okay, it is, it is forced to lie. There, it's either be a spectator or participate. But the, 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 the race of old uh, digital superintelligence will, will happen whether I like it or not. So it's either participate and try to build a, the, the best possible uh, AI, the one that will be hopefully most beneficial to humanity, or watch others do it and be concerned about how it's being built, because I don't think it's being built correctly. But you, could, you, could, you should think of an AI as like something that you kind of, um, you almost like you grow in intelligence, you know, in the same way that you like you raise a child. And like, what do you teach the child? Uh, and and, and uh, digital super intelligence is grown. It, it's, it matters what you uh, encourage and discourage, what you teach it is, you know, good or bad or, you know, what, it's kind of like you, you build it with values. Um, so, and I, I, and I'm concerned about sort of the, the values that sort of a Microsoft OpenAI or frankly, a, 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 you know, Google uh, our programming. It's and, and and this is not. I mean, this example that I mentioned are not imaginary. They're they're actually what it did. Well, I, I have said for a long time that I do that. I believe that there, that some regulatory oversight um, of the large models is warranted. Um, I've, I've actually said that now for for a very long time. Um, the, the the nature of that oversight is important. Um, our, I go back to what I was saying earlier, which is that I think it's very important that um, AIs be trained to be uh, truthful um, and, and not trained to be politically correct. Um, because if political correctness is, is often simply not true, uh, 
And that means you're programming AS to lie, and I think that will backfire very badly. So, um, you, you know, it's, that's, I, I keep harping on this point of, of but it, it really, as the saying goes, honesty is the best policy. It's incredibly important. Um, I, 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 do, I do fear that regulators will not make the right decisions, um, that they'll worry too much about the sort of um, human follies. Um, and I would encourage regulators to say, what, what matters most of all is your AI is accurate and truthful. That is by far, that's rule number one. Honesty is the best policy. I, I mean, I, I do think there's, there's, there's some danger associated with digital superintelligence. Um, as I said earlier, the, I, th I think the biggest issue is that it has to be trained to be rigorously truthful um, and it has to be trained with, to be curious. Um, and I've thought a lot about AI safety for a long time. Um, you know, one of the challenges you have with programming uh, explicit morality into AI is that if you, uh, sometimes people call this the Waluigi problem. If you program uh, Luigi, you can automatically invert that and create Waluigi, bad Luigi. Um, so what, what you cannot invert is the, the truth of, is, is physical reality. Um, so you, you can't invert the rules of physics. Um, uh, you can't invert logic. Um, and uh, so, so I think that that, that is the, the better way to go. Um, so, so really, I think what regulators should be concerned about is, is the AI being rigorously truthful? Um, is it giving an answer that is um, most probably correct with acknowledged error? Um, I think that's the best move for, um, for AI, and that's, that's what we're trying to do at XAI. Um, now we still, XAI is, is, is a new company, so there's not, uh, it, it still has a lot of catching up to do before it has um, an, uh, an AI that is uh, competitive with, um, with sort of Google DeepMind and um, Microsoft uh, OpenAI. Uh, so no, I, I think maybe t towards the end of this year, we will have that. Um, but it's, there's not much point in, um, you know, trying to make it to, 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 to it, it, we just need, we, we just need to have an AI that is competitive is the first order of business. If, if, if it is not competitive, um, which is, it is not yet, but I think it will be, uh, then, um, you know, things start to have a point at, at that, like we need, we, are, we need to start, only start worrying about safety when it is uh, of comparable power to other AIs. So anyway, and, and I just keep harping on this, this point of the truth, 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 truth. This is very important. Um, and uh, sometimes people will say like, well, is there an objective truth? And I say, well, in a lot of cases there is, if you're talking about physics, there, there is an objective truth, or you can say there's a truth with, with hi highest probability. So you can say what is most probably true um, with um, an acknowledged error. So in physics, people will, will say like this hypo, this hypothesis appears to be true to uh, a sort of five sigma um, you know, error type of thing. So, so it's like, okay, well, if, if, if the experimental results are coming true to five sigma, then it's probably correct. Um, five, five sigma is a lot. So uh, yeah, anyway, that's, that's, it's it's kind of like I guess a sort of a, a, a physicist's approach to safety is, um, yeah. I'm, I'm I'm repeating myself here, but I can't emphasize enough that honesty is the best policy. Um, but there are there are strong forces to to um, for AI to not be honest. If something does not uh, is, is not an unfashionable thing to say, then it will it you know. Uh, it will be politically correct, and, and that's lying. We probably, none of us will have a job. Um, there will be, but in that benign scenario, there will be universal high income 
uh, not universal basic income, universal high income, there would be no shortage of goods or services. Um, and I, I think the benign scenario is the most likely scenario, probably, I don't know, 80% likely if you ask, in, in my opinion. Um, the, the, the question will not be um, one of uh, lacking goods or services. You'll have, um, everyone will have, will have access to as much in the way of goods and services as they would like. Um, the, the, the question will really be one of meaning. Of how, if, if you, if the computer can do, and the robots can do everything better than you, uh, then uh, what the, 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 does your life have meaning? That's that's really the what will be the question in the benign scenario, and in the negative scenario, we'll we'll bet we're off. We're we're in deep trouble. Um, so now I, I do think there's, there's there's perhaps still a role for humans in this in in that we may give. AI meaning. Um, so if you, if you think of the way that our brain works, we've got the limbic system, which is our instincts um, and our feelings, and then we've got the cortex, which is uh, thinking and planning. Um, but the cortex is constantly trying to make the limbic system happy. So maybe that's how it'll be with AI, which is the AI is trying to make our cortex happy, which is trying to make our limbic system happy. And maybe we are what give the AI meaning or purpose, you know, some kind of, yeah. I, so, but, but I, I do think that long term in a benign scenario, any job that somebody does will be optional. Like if you, if you, if you want to do a job as kind of like a hobby, you can do a job. But, but otherwise, the, the AI and the robots will provide any goods and services that you want.